Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Biography of Athletes. Now we will show you edge lifestyle, biography and more things in this video. I hope you will like this video. Adam Joseph Copeland is a Canadian professional wrestler and actor. He is currently signed to WWE, where he performs on the Raw brand under the ring name Edge and is currently inactive due to injury. If you love this video to the end then don't forget subscribe our channel and press the bell button for more update. Edge Biography Born name Adam Joseph Copeland Nickname Edge, rated R superstar, the ultimate opportunist Best known for his highly successful career as a professional wrestler, during which he went on to win multiple championships including WWF Tag Team Championship, WWE Championship, World Heavyweight Championship, and the United States Championship. Being cast in the recurring role of Jetil Flatness in the fifth season of the historical drama TV series, Viking Occupation. Professional wrestler, actor. Years active. 1992-2011. 2020 present, wrestler, 2000 present, actor. Ethnicity? White. Zodiac signs? Scorpio. Date of birth? October 30, 1973, age 47 years, place of birth. Orangeville, Canada. Nationality? Canadian. Religion? Christianity. Education? Edge went to the Hummer College in Toronto and graduated with a degree in radio broadcasting. He had to later take training in radio broadcasting as well. Net worth. Edge is a retired Canadian professional wrestler and actor who has a net worth of $14 million. Manager. Adam Copeland is represented by Encore Sports and Entertainment. Brand endorsements. Adam Copeland has appeared in a couple of TV commercials for popular snack food, Slim Jim. Edge physical stats. Body tips. Athletic. Height. 6 feet 5 in, 1.96 meters. Weight? 241 pounds, 109 kilograms. Eye color? Blue with a hint of green. Hair color? Blonde. Distinctive features? Towering height, sharp jawline, blue-green eyes. Edge professional debut. First WWE match. In 1998, Edge competed in his first televised match against Jose Estrada Jr. Although he managed to win the match via countdown, it was a disaster as he injured Estrada's neck, which led to a first film. In 2000, Edge made his theatrical film debut in the fantasy action movie, Highlander. Endgame. First TV show. In 2002, Adam Copeland made his first TV show appearance in the game show, Weakest Link. Edge favorite things. TV guilty pleasure, The Voice. Typical bar order coffee. Movie Young Frankenstein, 1974. Dumb and Dumber, 1994. Food, chocolate chip cookies. Emoji Canadian flag or octopus. NHL teams Toronto Maple Leafs and New Jersey Devils. Edge girlfriend name. Alana Morley, 1998-2004. In November 1998, Copeland started dating Alana Morley, who is the sister of wrestler Sean Morley, who is better known by his ring name Val Venice. After having dated for three years, they got married in November 2000. Lisa Ortiz, 2003-2005, it is reported that Adam Copeland started dating actress Lisa Ortiz in October 2003. They got married in October 2000. Amy Dumas, 2005-2006, according to reports, he started going out with wrestler Amy Dumas by the start of 2005. They decided to end their relationship in November 2006. Elizabeth Carolyn, 2012 present, Copeland started dating wrestler Elizabeth Carolyn, who is better known by her ring name of Beth Phoenix in March 2012. Edge Unknown Facts Edge never met his father in his entire life. In fact, he never got to see a picture of his father. Adam's mother raised him as a single parent. He attended his first WrestleMania event at WrestleMania 6 in his teens. He had a seat in the 11th row ring. At the event, he watched Hulk Hogan against the Ultimate Warrior, and he credits this match for making him realize that he wanted to become a wrestler. At the age of 17, he won an essay writing contest at his local gym and for a prize, he got free training from Sweet Daddy Sicky and Ron Hutchison in Toronto. His wrestling inspirations had to briefly take a back seat as he had to take up a couple of jobs to help pay the bills. In his early training days, he used to train on one weekday and the weekends. 
As the low ceiling prevented top rope moves, he had to focus on improving his technical mat-based skills, which would serve him well later in his career. Early in his career, he used to wrestle in the independent circuit under the ring name Sexton Hardcastle. He later formed the Sex and Violence tag team with Joey Legend. In the independent circuit, he formed a tag team with Christian Cage and went on to win ICW Street Fight Tag Team Championship. His partnership with Cage would serve him well in his early years with WW. In 1995, he was discovered by Carl DeMarco, who was Bret Hart's manager. DeMarco asked him to send his audition tape to WWF and also assured Copeland that he would put in a good word as well. In 1996, he started wrestling for WWF without having signed an official contract. They used to pay him $210 per week. The company also agreed to pay off his outstanding college debt, which was around $40,000. In 1997, he asked Copeland to go to Calgary, where Bret Hart was informally training wrestlers as he recovered from his knee injury. He and Christian managed to impress Hart, who recommended them to the WWF management. In 1997, he was signed by WWF on a developmental contract. He would train with them for about a year before he would start wrestling in their mainstream matches. By the time of his WWF TV debut in June 1998, he adopted Edge as his ring name. He had taken the name from the Albany radio station. In 1998, he collaborated with Christian and Gangrel to form a group known as The Brood. The Brood was later absorbed into The Undertaker's Ministry of Darkness. He and Christian managed to win the WWF Tag Team Championship on seven occasions. They also earned popularity for their repeated participation in tables, ladders, and chairs matches, in which they often faced Dudley Boys and the Hardy Boys. He showed off his credentials as an emerging singles competitor in 2001 by winning the King of Ring tournament. In 2004, he had to give up Intercontinental title after suffering a serious groin injury. As part of Raw's storyline, he was stripped of his title by general manager Eric Biscoff. At WrestleMania 21, he managed to win the first ever Money in the Bank ladder match. He later revealed that he wasn't a fan of the ladder match and had told WWF management to keep him out of the line for the event, but he was talked into participating in the match by other participants, such as Chris Jericho. In 2006, he went on to win the WWE Championship for the first time by hitting the reigning champion John Cena with two spears. He decided to celebrate his win by having intercourse with Lita in the ring, but could only indulge in foreplay as they were interrupted by In 2006, he partnered with Randy Orton to form Rated RKO to take on D-Generation X, DX, Triple H and Shawn Michaels, who had been undefeated since their reunion. Rated RKO managed to defeat DX at Cybers. In 2007, by defeating Mr. Kennedy, he became the first wrestler to win the Money in the Bank contract on two occasions. In May 2007, he switched from Raw to SmackDown and cashed his Money in the Bank contract by taking on The Undertaker for the World Heavyweight title. He speared his opponent to win his first World Heavyweight title. After he won the unified WWE Tag Team Championship with Chris Jericho at the Bash, he became the first wrestler to have become World Tag Team Champion 12 times. In 2011, he revealed that he was retiring from wrestling after coming to the terms of his neck problem caused by a previous injury. After a serious injury, the doctors had to insert screws and plates into his neck. He was diagnosed with cervical spinal stenosis, and doctors had warned him that he risked neck down paralysis or even death if he fell hard. In March 2012, Edge was inducted by his old friend Christian into the WWE Hall of Fame. In November 2004, he published his autobiography, Adam Copeland on Edge. Unlike most other wrestlers who use ghostwriters, Copeland had himself written his book in law. In April 2004, Adam admitted to the use of steroids to help him recover from his neck injury. But he decided to shelve the steroids use after realizing that it slowed him down. Edge House Details Edge lives in a luxurious house which is located in Asheville, North Carolina, United States.